welcome back to today's video. It is Monday and we are back to normal life, which means not school. We're not doing school. It's such a relief. Hello. <laughs> normal life means Ruby. Hey, Ruby. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to today. Sophie just went and got the eggs and I want to show you guys how many eggs we get every day. What our eggs look like. There are actually three different kind of eggs in here. Three different hens laying eggs okay. in here. So the chicken that lays this egg lays large eggs. She weighs, yeah, she lays large eggs and they're this light cream color. These used to be fairy eggs. These used to be really tiny fairy eggs. These are our coaching eggs, but now they've progressed to making almost regular size eggs. They're still quite small. And um, this is our Easter egg or egg. Easter. So we get three eggs a day, sometimes four. We have four laying hens and Cochin chickens are huge chickens and they take longer to mature. So it takes longer for them to lay consistently. They're not great yeah. egg layers. This is the smallest one. So one cochin lays like every other day and she lays this small sized egg. And then the other cochin that was the mom, she hasn't started laying really yet. Sophie just got this carton of eggs out. Can you crack it? We got to crack it now, but look at, can you guys see the difference? That has happened to us before. So one thing that's really weird about chicken owners is that they get obsessed with chickens and they get obsessed with eggs. So when you get something spectacular like that, it's upside down. How many eggs do you, I think it's a two yoker. I think it is two. Yeah. Or it's just a really Put large it in egg. this one. Put it in this. These are all average size eggs. Oh, oh, Except, we can fix our problem. Oh, there we go. Oh, so in this carton, it doesn't look any, well, it does look a little bigger still, but not like a lot bigger. Wow. That's these, weird. These ones are huge. Oh, so it's just that we have a lot of smaller well, eggs. Well, can we crack this one? one? Yeah, we can still crack Where'd it. Where'd it go? <laughs> we can't even find it now. It's this one now. I bet you it's just a regular old egg. Anyways, welcome to today's video. Welcome to our eggs. These are what they look like. These are what we give to all of our friends when they come over. We're like, hey, do you want eggs? <laughs> We're not giving them this batch. This batch is mine. <laughs> Some people put their eggs like this. They put them like in order of like light eggs to dark eggs or colors to... So some people might like put all the blue ones on one end. Oh, can I do something? Yeah, and then the lighter colored ones, and then the darker oh, colored God. ones. Yeah. See? Everybody, like, people become obsessed with their eggs, but you should do this. Why is this one so big? You should do it like that. So then we have blue, and then we have white, and then we have beige. Or we alternate ours. But actually, that looks way better. And then there's more eggs. <laughs> this is what happens even when you just have three laying hens you just get more and more and more eggs all the time anyway welcome to today's video we're headed to the barn and i'm going to show you guys what i got for sophie and a chance and we also have an appointment with the saddle fitter snake just went into our chicken coop uh, just a tiny He's baby one stealing our eggs. wait it's a baby it's a baby and i'm hoping that our chicken eats it I'm like i it. oh my god we have food we've just oh he can't see it it went there it probably went there. down that way. Probably. Wow, there's a lot of chicken feathers on the outside of the coop. That's odd. Sophie and I have been picking rocks again. Or if that one will come out. Oh, it's like not a fun activity, but I got a lot out. Got a lot of holes here. But I'm sitting here in the shade picking rocks, and every time I look up, I see these beautiful horses. Three horses is literally the perfect number. This is how you know that Sam is special. So even though he's like not been around, doesn't pay attention or doesn't appear to pay attention, he put the horses out this morning. And when we came back, my new halter was on the post. So he pays attention and he, okay. and he just does whatever he thinks is the right thing instead of like making a big deal out of it. I'm, I'm gonna... Look, you guys were ready to come in. Where are you going, I'm Penny Pickle? I'm to put this on Willow. Okay. So I can put this on Gracie. Okay. So good, I missed it. Sophie came walking in with Willow in the lead, trying to get through the door. And she's like, this is where line drawing, driving. This is where line driving comes in handy. All right, hold on. My horse won't try and escape. You know they're ready to come in when they're just like ready for a nap. I love that about them. Willow's like, can I have a treat? I yeah. know I just ate all that food, but I can have a treat. 
Where's the treat for coming in? So today I was talking to my friend about how much we've changed in the last couple of years. We show less, we do less. Like before we were really active and we were like out there doing stuff. And we are gonna do that again. We are out there doing stuff. We are out there doing stuff, but. Well, no, I mean like we used to go on trail rides. So like we used to Ooh. plan these things. These activities, we used to yeah, go swimming. I, I never liked trail rides. But then COVID happened and it changed everything around. And literally this is the first summer that we're really able to get out there and do like whatever we want almost. And we are gonna, you guys, for us. Not me, I'm not doing trails. Summer <laughs> has just started. Not on that horse, you're not doing trails. Not Even doing though trails. he has done trails before and he's not a spooky horse, but he's like. You know what I would do? I would bring Willow on trails and just walk her. Yeah, wait, say that again. You know what I would do? I would bring Willow on trails and just walk her. She wants to bring Willow on trails and just walk her, and that is exactly what we're gonna do with our very first trail. Willow, Willow likes doing that stuff. Yeah, so that's what I wanna do for trails. Willow likes exploring, especially if you get treats. I want to, and I've talked about this with our friends because we're all going to do it together, but we're going, we're going to take our horses, like our ponies, our mares, for a trail ride, like for like a walking trail ride. Like I have friends that live in the city and take their minis on like actual trails, like on actual like streets and really fun, amazing stuff. And that's the kind of stuff that I want to do with our mini. But I don't like where, like the road that we take them on is so busy. The traffic is insane and it's just not as much fun. I wanna take them like, take them someplace safe and someplace fun. Someplace with water, you guys know, we've been to places, so. You remember when you told me to let go of Willow's lead rope when she was in the water? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then she ran off. Yeah. yeah. Willow loved it though. Yeah. So anyways, that's one of the things that we wanna do this summer. It's hard for us to do like the swimming and some of the other stuff because Chino's like our, Gabby's show horse and so she wants to be extra careful with him. But we might still like take our friends for like a trail ride and take Chino with us and and see what we like. We are gonna do stuff still. It's yeah, just that COVID really COVID. changed things for us and really changed things for the world. Guys, and we're getting back home. into it. We're learning, or we're slowly getting back there, you guys. It was shopping day on the day by day farm. You even got shavings. I have four bags and then I gotta come back for more grain. Chance is standing with his mare and then he turned and walked to Sophie. So he does know that she's his girl, but he doesn't want to be separated from his other girl. Every time you- Chance um, is starting to learn that he can't get away with her. Every time you interact with him is a training session. He's like really scratching his bum, Sophie. You're gonna have to like, oh no, it's clean. Just look at that. What the heck? It looks like a goat is eating you. Okay, we found a Chino's bell boot. One that we lost in the field. No, I didn't find it. Oh, somebody found it. Hi, handsome man. He's like, just let me have a little grass. So we ordered this shock absorbing saddle pad. It's a gel pad from Cavalieri. So we got this gel pad for Chance because you guys know that we're having trouble trying to fit saddles right now while he builds a top line. And Cavalieri has a whole entire line of these, these saddle pads, these gel pads. Wait until I show you. But they have a front riser, a middle riser, a rear riser, an air release pad, and a basic riser. And basically it's a shock absorbing pad it has an ergon ergonomic mold and it allows amazing airflow. I'm gonna show you guys. It does all of those things, plus it's anti-slip. Anti you can cut this to fit, see it's got scissors there, you can cut this to fit your horse. We've already used it on Chance. We noticed a massive uh, difference. Sophie noticed a massive difference. The, it has such good airflow. In the past we used a non-slip pad and it didn't have any airflow at all. This is so much better. I love that they have, so many options for saddle fit. We chose a rear riser on this one so that um, we can protect Chance's back while he is building a top line, but you can get it in the middle, you can get it in the front, a uh, front riser or a middle riser. Another thing I love about this gel pad is that it is so easy to wash. You know, you know how these things get really sweaty? This one, you can just wash it down so easy. So Sophie rode in this already, so he's extra sweaty. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on the horse. So we put it up over top of the saddle pad. 
We put it over top of the saddle pad. But I wanted to show you guys what it looks like. I love it. I think James And yeah, it. and when you push on it, it's such a it has such good shock absorption. Chance is just I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. You liked it a lot. We should have got the one that was like a full So they do have a pad. full I know. I should have looked better when I was ordering because they have so many options for saddle fit and we weren't sure exactly what we were, what we needed. He's stretching. You know? Yeah. We weren't exactly sure what we needed, but now we know. Anyway, I'll post the website if you guys are interested in these. They have other products too. Um, also, they have an affiliate link program, which I signed up. So that means that if you guys are interested in this, you can use our code. So if you use our code day by day, you can sign up and get 15% off your first purchase. So if this is something that you've been looking for or that you're interested in or that you think would help your horse, definitely check them out. I didn't know that that would help, but it did. Yeah, where did you? Yeah, it's so nice. And another thing I like about it is that it comes with this plastic and it sticks to it. Oh, it's not as sticky now, but then you can just roll it back up after you clean it and put it back in the box, which is probably what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm going to give the car so it doesn't get ruined. We actually really liked it. I love it. Sophie loves it. Chance loves it. So our saddle fit fitter had an emergency she's not going to show up today so we won't be doing saddle fitting today but we are going to be doing it soon hopefully we can reschedule for a little bit later this week and get that done i like i like him like i like him as a horse i like him that he's not like he doesn't he doesn't he he takes like i like that he's slow and that he's not reactive and that he's just does whatever she asks and I like that about him the things that I don't like about him are that they don't look good together yet and that's the part that we're waiting to see if it's gonna work out like it's we don't have all the pieces together yet so we don't know how she's gonna actually end up looking on him once we get the saddle right and and he gets a top line and all that kind of stuff it's gonna be a game changer and so we don't know if it will work out or not so that's what we're waiting to see if the vlog is short, it means I've been really busy. So I painted all of our horse's feet, washed, we washed them all down because it was a sweaty rod. And yeah, we've done all the stuff. So when I'm busy, I don't video. Right, Tino? Tino was really good today. He's getting ready. He's like, I'll be a show horse. Actually, I forgot to wash under where his. All right, we are ready to roll. I am starving. We have to wait for Gabby. I was in the car cleaning it up while they were finishing up with their horses. And Gabby's like, can you hold him? You want to come in the car with me, Chino? Come on in. He's actually trying to pull me out. That's the funniest thing I ever saw. He put his his mat, his chin on my leg. It was okay. literally... Uh, he was literally trying to drag me out of the car. He's so confused. Ken still doesn't like like rocks. None of our horses like rocks. Finn, Goldfin, used to be the worst on rocks. He hated them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?